Hi spooks, welcome to my staked vampire tutorial. This tutorial's a bit all over the place. I didn't really know what I was doing, so maybe just don't watch. Just kidding. <laughs> so to start off with, I went into this white Mayron Paradise paint and I just lightly painted all of my face and chest. And then on one eye, I put, painted a black hole and I went into these pinky purple shades and started to make my eyes vampire and creepy. On top of one of my eyes, I did a bright red cut crease. Using pink and purple eyeshadows, I contoured my face and made quite a dramatic cheekbone. With a black face paint and a fine paintbrush, I started to paint cracks coming out of the eye socket. Using a brown eyeshadow, I started to shade on one side of these cracks. I wanted it to look like some parts of the vampire face had cracked off. I wanted these two sides to be really distinguishable from each other so I actually went back into the white paint and made the vampire face more bright white. I added some white paint on top of my eyelid and then I used the white paint around the design so I painted it around the eye socket to make it look like an eye socket and then using a black paint I added cracks coming onto the vampire face and I did highlight all of that in white as well. Because I wanted the two faces to stand out from each other I decided to block the bit of my eyebrow in the face that's been cracked off so using this Elmer's glue stick I just stuck my brows down, um, waited for it to dry and then I put a bright orange paint on top, waited for that to dry and then um, I added concealer and white paint on top. It's not like a perfect job but it kind of did the trick. Up until this point I'd not actually decided what I was going to do on this part of the face but I just went into purple and blue eyeshadows because I thought it would look good contrasted with the white paint for it to kind of look a bit zombie deadish. Um, and as you can see throughout the design I am just exaggerating this, the two parts so I'm just adding more shading as I go along. At this point I decided to have the underneath bit as like a bit of a decaying skull so I painted yellow skull teeth on. I shaded in between the teeth using a flat brush and a brown eyeshadow. then took the design onto my neck and chest area and the whole premise of this idea is to, because I'm using this vampire staked prosthetic, so I was going to have that on the vampire side and then on the other side I'm just painting on a rib cage and I'm just going to have it matching this kind of decaying zombie skull look. Mm -hmm. 
On the rib cage, as I did with the face, I just used purpley, bluey, pinky eyeshadows, kind of bruise colours, and I put them on there, and then I used a brown ad eyeshadow to shade around it. Okay, guys, so yeah, this is what was my inspiration for this design. I had this prosthetic, um, which is like a staked vampire and I knew I wanted to create a vampire look around it. So I'm using Prozade, which is like a skin glue, to attach this and it's like a professional one, um, it's really strong. You have to leave the glue ages though to go kind of tacky before you use it and I, I stuck it on too soon and then ended up taking it off and then about 10 minutes later I put it back on and it just stuck perfectly. I added blood splatters onto the vampire side and I just used this brush that I use for using split cakes because it's quite a good flat one for doing this and I added loads of water to my red paint and just started splattering it on. For my lips on the vampire side I used MAC Cherry Lip Liner and then this is Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips in the colour Screen Siren. It is the nicest red lipstick ever. Okay, so to finish off the look, I added an eyelash to the vampire side and I also added a red contact lens. This is the Voldemort lens from Crazy Lenses. I added fake blood to the stake as well. <laughs> 